What's up, it's CMC Army and Moneymakers. Welcome back to the channel. We are seeing 50% pop in HCMC. I have been noticing some of the speculation, some of the price action in HCMC. Take a look right now. We went to one level and then we were stable at two level, but mostly we traded at three levels today as well. So compared to last trading session, we are seeing 50% spike into the price point. Not only that, we have seen more than 3.1 billion in volume as well. So volume spiked up. This is pretty important because the average volume is uh, 437 million. Right now, we spiked up in terms of the volume, almost 10x than the previous day, 260 million on March 1st. And right now we are seeing 3.1 billion in this particular video i'm going to do some analysis i'm going to share with you what i have noticed we'll look into the short volume one of the potential reason that i am thinking in terms of why it cmc spiked up and what you should be looking for especially if you own it cmc you really want to watch the full video if you want to get into it cmc you want to watch the video as well there might be couple of things happening catalyst coming up for its cmc so watch the full full video in return all i ask you is to hit the like button subscribe to the channel do your part for its cmc healthier choices management corp is an otc traded stock we have seen such a massive volume back in the days 40 billion and since then there were a lot of catalysts happening one of the biggest catalyst is catalyst is um the hcmc versus philip morris lawsuit that hcmc is suing philip morris for the infringement of their one of the patent but there is not so much luck at the moment for HCMC however why the volume spiked up what is going on if you really know something more than what I share in this particular video write down in the comment section below at the least hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on some of the time sensitive stuff while we are in the earnings season now let's talk about HCMC so as you know HCMC was trading between two and three two and three for many days and that has been a pattern and we have been seeing a bar coding pattern at CMC. So what exactly happened today that spiked up at CMC in terms of the volume 430 37 which is the average volume so half a billion is the usual volume in terms of the average volume right now we are seeing 3.1 billion not only that we have seen the swing such a big swing from one level to three level which is 2x 200 percent uh, or 200 percent spike or the swing or 3x swing in terms of the price point let's take a look if you take a look at the volume the the, the price point is two one two and three two and three Today, the low was one, high was three. Now, if you take a look at this chart, we have been sustaining in terms of the price point. However, if you take a look at this green um, green RSI, RSI stands for Relative Strength Index for any stock. And this particular RSI shows 54, which means it's not an overbought condition, not an oversold condition. Also, I was waiting to find out what is the short volume. If you take a look at the short volume, the FINRA total volume is 3.1 billion, whereas the short volume is 1.26 billion, which puts its CMC with the short volume ratio of 40.82, which is pretty normal short ratio, short volume ratio for its CMC. We have seen up to C in 60s, in 70s, short volume ratio for its CMC back in the days. Now, remember, this is an OTC stock, so the data might be delayed. I was waiting to find out what exactly the short volume ratio is, and this is what I see on Fintel. Do your own due diligence. This video is only for the entertainment purposes. I'm not a financial advisor. I do a ton of uh, research and like to share back with the community. One of the reasons that I think it's CMC why it spiked up is due to the earnings. So March 3rd is the earning, which is uh, which is when it is listed. When I, I when I was trying to find out when the earning date or the financial earning uh, date for it's CMC is, which is when they're going to announce the Q4 revenue in 2021, as well as what it's CMC did as a company in 2021 in terms of the revenue, in terms of the profitability. We already know that it's CMC is working on their EB10 operational overheads and cost, but more importantly, it's CMC has divided themselves into four different categories. Now, I do not really see any other news on their press release or news section on their website. Now, if you know anything more, write down in the comment section below.
below and let us know let the community know also hit the like button so this video can reach to more and more people we need to spread the word out if you take a look on stock weeks there are more than 84,000 almost 85,000 watchers on HCMC the message volume spiked up the price spiked up by 50% whenever we see the volume uh, message volume spikes up the price goes up as well a lot of people are talking about that HCMC 2.0 is ready to pop and I I once again agree because we might hear some of the juicy and very important information from its CMC as a company and their CEO tomorrow. Volume proceeds, uh, uh, pro proceeds, uh, proceeds price when the lawsuit is going to be over a lot of people are talking about tomorrow shall we see because there is an earning tomorrow i have been searching a ton if there is any other news but people are noticing 3.1 billion in volume what you want to notice is their ceo also shared on december 27 a, a year end letter to the shareholder from the ceo of hcmc what they also mentioned is finally pleased to know that we're exploring some potential ways to modify our capital share structure in a way that will be more favorable to our shareholders I am not sure because I did not really get the news or any article that I came across that suggests anything else but there could be speculation around the capital share structure that the company might be restructuring we will be able to find out whenever they release their earnings so you want to watch out for that more than anything else you want to also know that they have current asset cash and cash equivalent more than 28 million dollars it, to be to be precise to 28.1 million dollars and they also have 2.3 million in additional current other assets that put this company at 330.5 million dollars in the current asset which is massive and the company has been expanding themselves left and right if you take a look in, into the news section the company announced the acquisition of Mother Earth Storehouse and Organic Natural Health and Food Vitamin Chain in upstate New York. So they're expanding their footprint. They also announced the first choice wellness center licensing deal, which is massive as well, which means that will add up into the revenue. They also talked a ton about their IV therapy center, which means they announced the acquisition of EIR hydration. And as I mentioned already in the third quarter result, the company had a pretty strong balance sheet in terms of cash on hand they also talked a ton about the tie up with ATG Pharma which is uh, the, which is uh, particularly for six pack solution and they want to expand themselves into the Canadian market which is exciting before that they have a tie up with Nuhi brand for pre fill Q cup in Colorado by the health center this is all helping out the the company in terms of bringing more and more revenue they have done a great job of also dividing themselves into four different subsidiary companies the first one is the HCMC IP intellectual property holdings LLC which is hard to put a number or the worth or the value because IP products are super super speculative if it works into one of the product and if the product gets hit and if they can sell a ton of product it can overnight become a million multi-million dollar IP uh, IP or the, or the basically the patent that they have itself we have seen that how it worked out how it was speculative when it's CMC came up with the IQ OS product that uh, that Philip Morris is infringing that one of their patent. It was a different story that uh, the complexity was super, 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 super complex, obviously, uh, around the combustion as to how this patent work, heat and burn pipe works. But it seems it's intellectual properties holding a number of patents. The second one that they have into their subgroup or, or the subsidiary is the healthier choices market. They have 18,000 square foot food service grocery store and the market in Florida. They also have the vitamin store that they're focusing on their online channel to bring in more revenue which will lower down their EBITDA and operational overheads because everything is going to work online it's CMC's vitamin store.com is your online resource for leading product and all natural vitamin supplement and health and beauty and all the personal care and the lastly that the company has started is healthier choices wellness center they started with a licensing deal which is going to let them expand because they'll be hands-free and collecting royalty or the revenue based on on what the product that they are they are providing or what the services that they're providing under their licensing deal so that is going to be massive the next thing you want to know is their short volume used to be in 7 12 22 so pretty much in one or two digit lower two digit that bumped up to 40.82 so short sellers are also looking into it while we are seeing 3.1 billion such a massive 
total volume and this is in my opinion this is due to the earnings season that we are going to we're around the corner that hcmc is going to announce their earning hopefully by tomorrow today is march 2nd right now it's 8 p.m est and you want to keep an eye out as to what hcmc announces how their balance sheet is going to look I, i'm super super interested in learning more about what the company shows up as cash and cash advance what the company is also giving us guidance in terms of their revenue if you take a look at the previous revenue or quarterly revenue you should be able to see that the company is uh, doing pretty uh, regularly between three to four million dollars in revenue in september so that's Q3 2021, we saw 3.27 million. In June, we saw 3.39 million. March, we saw 3.47 million. So the company is consistently doing between three and $4 million in revenue. Not only that last December, 2020, they did 3.23 million in revenue, September, 2020. So basically all they do is between three and $4 million in revenue. If they come up with the projection, let's say $5 million in revenue quarter over quarter, that is going to put the company at $20 million revenue in 2022. Do. Uh, not to mention that the company still have the catalyst going on with the PTAB application. The review has been instituted. So we'll be figuring out how, what happens to the patent. Also for the lawsuit, they went to the appeal court, which is the higher authority. We will need to find out what happens to their appeal and what the judge decides, whether it goes to the discovery phase and the trial phase. I'll keep you posted. Keep watching this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow is going to be massive. We have started seeing the spike. People are talking about it. 3.1 billion dollar, uh, 3.1 billion volume is not a, not a joke. And the way it jumped up is super, super impressive. We have been seeing, take a look, 260 million before that, 351 million before that, 250 million. And we did not really see 1 billion in revenue. The closest revenue uh, volume, the closest volume that we have seen was on January 24, which is uh, which is a long time back quite, quite honestly before a couple of weeks back we saw 885 million in revenue but we did not really see 1 billion in revenue at all the last volume that we have seen in terms of uh, in terms of billion was on December 10th 2021 1.0 4 billion, which is when the company announced their earning. And then we heard from their CEO on the, on the, on the, on the year end newsletter. And we have also seen what the company is going to focus on and what they are focusing on in 2022. Their CEO mentioned that they're focusing on growing the revenue base through the larger footprint in brick and mortar. And the company is doing that as well as online. The company is doing that. Second thing that they want to expand upon their IP portfolio suite, which is also the company doing that. So, and the third one is increase the profitability that the company is focusing more and more and more on their EBITDA and operational overheads that they want to reduce so hit the like button subscribe to the channel I'll keep you posted what the company announces tomorrow I'm waiting I'm eagerly waiting to hear back and see what they are up to thanks for watching I'll see you tomorrow